Hey guys, it's 681 Shadow, your coach of the Connecticut Crocodiles, and we are here for PMC Orange League Season 2 Week 9, and we are facing off against Serene Grace, coach of the Joliet Lycan Rocks. And this match will either um, make or break our chances at playoffs, so it's definitely a very crucial match that we need to win. We gotta try not to play badly, which is, which is not something that... Uh, um, which I do tend to play badly sometimes, so hopefully we can play very well in this match and try to get a win here because um, we have a very solid chance to get a playoff spot if we win this week and next week. So to go over the team that I brought this week, first off we brought a Scarf Kiram, which um, can be very good for the Zygarde. Um, it can basically reve it can revenge a lot of his team, like the um, it gives the Diancies low, it can revenge that. Um, it can revenge the Mandibuzz, it can revenge the Zam, it can um, revenge the Zygarde. It's just really good for revenging. So then next up we have the um, Mega Pinsir. Pretty standard Mega Pinsir here. Um, deals with deals with um, his Hitmonchan and is op and is overall going to be a very good offensive presence. Can pick things off with Quick Attack very nicely. So next up we have a Chopple um, Tyranitar, uh, which could be which could um, be dealing with a pos with possible attacks from Hitmonchan to try and to weaken that thing, and possibly from um, Alakazam as well. So next up we have um, Excadrill. We're bringing the Muscle Band this week, um, because um, because for the Muscle Band it ba it's basically um, it's basically um, I want to have a boost for all of my moves rather than having a um, having a boost for only the super effective moves. So because I feel like Excadrill is going to be more of like a late game cleanup of this game. So. I also do apologize if you hear the wind. Um, if you hear wind through my mic, it's getting a bit windy. I I'm not sure why it was getting a bit windy, but next up we have a, a um, pretty standard Dusclops set. Um, nothing too much with the Dusclops, and same thing with the um, with the Golbat. We didn't really put too much um, extra prep into those. So with that, we are going to start off the match, and I believe I lead off with my Dusclops here. I'm um, seeing what he want, what um, she wants to do. So actually, no, I leave the Karen. Never mind. I was, I was thinking something else, but. Um, I leave the Kiram as he leaves with the um, Diant. She leaves with the Diante. I switch out here, going into the um, Dusclops here as um, she gets up her rocks. So, and then she goes for Light Screams. This is a pretty interesting set here. But I get the um, Diante Poison, which could be really nice to whittle that thing down. So now I go for Shadow Sneak, just trying to get damage off on this thing. As um, she goes for an Ancient Power, and that and this could be kind of scary if the if um, if she gets the Ancient Power boost. So I just keep. Um, I keep going for um, Shadow Snake here because I don't really have too much of a switch in for this. And I want to try to get this as low as possible. So she's going to switch out, go into the um, go into the Zygarde here. As I go for I just went for another Shadow Snake in here. I reveal um, the Ice Beam. I do have Ice Beam on the um, I did Ice Beam on the Dusclops, so that's really helpful. Light Screen's gone now. As he's, as she's going to go for a Coil, and I'm just going to click Ice Beam again. And now. Um, She's gonna go for another coil. Uh, I'm not sure why she probably she may have expected me to switch out or something. We're predicting like a sub, but I get some good damage off on this thing. As um, she does go for rest and reveals that she is rest or chesto. Very solid Zygarde set. Um, trying to get boosted up there, but I actually get the freeze there, which is um, very unfortunate. But she just thaws out first turn, so the hex isn't, isn't like as unfortunate. So I'm gonna ice beam right there and thousand arrows. Um, I think it's a roll for it to kill me. I think it was a pretty close roll, so um, I'm able to live, and I think the roll was in my favor, no, though, so I, I'm able to knock out the um, the Zygarde. So now he's just going to go into Mandibuzz and knock us out. So now we're going to switch into the um, the Tyranitar here, as he's going as she's going to go for the U-turn. Doesn't do too much for us, um, as he's going to, as she's going to switch in the um, Hitmon Hitmonchan, as I miss the Stone Edge, which really sucks. But um, now we're going to switch out, go into the um, the Golbat right here as she reveals that she is bulk up him on chance. Now this is very scary for us. So hopefully uh, we can be able to deal with this. So here I go for the Super Fang, bringing this down a lot. And she goes for another bulk up, which is now this thing's getting really scary. So... Um, so now she's gonna go. I'm gonna go for the taunt tr to make sure that that um, she doesn't um, that she doesn't bulk up again. And my uh, gold bag goes down. And now right here, I'm going to make probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest, misplay of this season. 
because when I was playing this game, it was a bit late. It was a bit late for me, so I wasn't ex so I wasn't exactly thinking as straight as I would since I was tired. So um, I kind of forgot about um, Hitmonchan getting mock punch. So I was like, okay, my scarf Kirim can come in and revenge this. So I switched Kirim in to um, try to revenge this thing, and then um, and then Hitmonchan just um, mock punches and it really um, and just knocks out my Kirim and. That mattered, and I'm gonna go into why that mattered later on in the game. So I just because I don't want to spoil anything. But now here, I'm going to go to I'm going to do the play that I should have done um, at that point, which is switch in the Mega Pincer and just go for a quick attack. And we are able to knock or um, or return. I forgot I forgot which one I go for, but yeah, I go for the return because um, because Mach Puncher wouldn't kill me. So I knock that thing out, and now um, Diante's in. I switch out. Um, I switch out. Mega Pincer, I go into the um, Tyranitar here as um, she's going to go for the Ancient Power. Just trying to get damage off on um, on stuff. So I'm going to go for Ice Beam since I am Special T-Tar this week. Um, Moon Blast br brings me down, doesn't kill me quite yet. And then um, we're going to get Widow for Crunch trying to um, get off some more damage there as Moon Blast is able to take us out. But Diancie is, um, is now really low. At 15% here, so we can just re you can just go into the um, Excadrill right here, and we go for an SD to um, as um, she as she just goes for the Moon Blast. And I know she's gonna get knocked out here, so it was basically a free SD because Diancie can't really do much, so it's either gonna stay in or switch. So now we go for the Iron Head on the Mandibuzz, and the Mandibuzz is going to take us out. With, actually, no, he's gonna um, whirlwind us, and and I think um, Excadrill and and um, Mega Pincer could have cleaned up that game if um they could have cleaned up that game if the um if Exedrill had gotten the flinch on that iron head because you'll see right here. Now we're pretty low on Mega Pincer and um I go for a return knocking out the Mandibuzz. I get hit with Rocky Helmet, which is fine. So now he's gonna go in she's gonna go into her Volcanion. I have I'm just gonna click return, which does over half, and now Flamethrower comes out. And now we're going to go into the Excadrill here, leaving us at a very um, serious predicament. I'm going to click EQ since I know I'm faster than um, Volcano, unless it's Scarf. If it was Scarf, I just lost right there. But um, now she goes into the um, Alakazam, Mega Evolves, and goes for the Focus Blast and is able to hit it. And that was an important turn because if um, Focus Blast had missed, we would have won the game. So Because um, I did the Calx, any one of my stab moves would have killed this Alakazam. Um, from full, so. Be and also she was um, she was telling me after the game, um, she had two options there: whether it would be to hit a focus blast or to get a high roll on the shadow ball. And she, of course, she went for the focus blast since that was her um better chance of um of winning. But um, but if she had either missed the focus blast or not gotten the high roll on the shadow ball, I would have been able to take take this game. So. We're a bit unlucky in that, but also we did we did misplay um, with the Kiram, and this is why it's so important because Kiram would still be healthy in this situation. In which case, I would come in and click Ice Beam and win the game um, off of Kiram. So it would be a one so if I had not done that with Kiram, it would be a one zero win in my favor right now. So really unfortunate about um, about that play, but um, we are going to be losing this game. And um, while we're not mathematically eliminated from playoffs. We have a very low chance at making playoffs now that we are four and five, and I believe we're number. I believe we're still sixth in the conference out of eight. So we're just off playoffs. Um, depending on our, I feel like we have a really tough chance to make it. Like it's, um, I don't think it's mathematically impossible, but it's going to be very hard for us to make it. And I would be very surprised if we if we make it. But um, I'm still going to be taking our week ten match pretty seriously since. Um, the person I'm facing is, um, I think he's also trying to get a playoff, trying to secure a playoff spot. So, um, I'm probably gonna be taking that match seriously. So, definitely stay tuned for that. But that is going to be it for this week of PMC. Thank you all for watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you all next time.